11 days. One of the, by far, one of the most grueling, toughest hunts. I managed to get choked up a little. <laughs> Dude, that was the most awesome thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Unreal. What a shot. Everyone has a dream, a dream of destiny, a dream that involves fear. And bow hunter Juan Garcia was making his dream come true, and his dream became his destiny. He came to Kodiak for one thing, to meet the largest land carnivore on earth. So many thoughts run through your head, and nature becomes your friend. But then you realize you're not at the top of the food chain anymore. You're not even significant to this place. The Kodiak National Refuge was established in 1941 by the Franklin Roosevelt administration. It was established for the protection of the brown bear on Kodiak. At that time, there was uh, 1.8 million acres established, set aside for the brown bear. So the brown bear would basically live in harmony for the rest of their lives. At the time, you know, the population went up and down. And in the mid-60s, the population was probably in the 2,000 range. With much concern, uh, with the help from uh, the refuge, uh, Kodiak National Refuge and the state of Alaska fishing game, they have now established a population to around 3,500 to 4,000 bears. And uh, they target every year an annual harvest of five to six percent. To hunt here on Kodiak Island is the ultimate of bear hunting. The population seems to be real balanced. I, I check with uh, the refuge biologists and uh, the local state uh, biologists in Kodiak, uh, Larry Vandell, and he's done a great job. Kodiak is a very special place and the refuge has made it that way. My name is Juan Garcia, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Coming to Alaska has always been a passion of mine, always something I wanted to do. Alaska to me means everything. There's a lot of people that want to go to Africa or go out to Europe or out in Asia, but Alaska to me is where I've always wanted to be. And Kodiak Island, was that was my dream, to hunt the largest carnival on earth, the Kodiak brown bear. The thought of giving up starts to become a reality. Each moment seems to be a struggle. You miss your family, your friends, and your smartphone. All of a sudden, this isn't as fun as it used to be. You just want to go home. Just as the last day approaches, when failure seems inevitable, something magical occurs, and your destiny becomes a reality. The inner soul of the hunter 
is primal and indigenous. The predator is brutal and honest. It's often confusing for who is the hunter and who is the hunted. You've lived this moment over and over in your dreams as if you've been there before. As the moment of truth arrives, fear becomes your biggest enemy. Instinct kicks in and time doesn't allow for fear as fear results in a mistake and a mistake ends in death. You make a decision and it becomes second nature. Eleven days of struggle and five minutes of glory meet at the apex of time. taken a lot of brown bears, but always taking a brown bear with a bow is very special to me, and especially a monarch like uh, Frank the Tank. That's what we named this bear. Uh, when he's a, such a big bear like that, you know, I have a, a self of remorse, you know, it's kind of like a quiet moment in myself. But when I looked at Juan and the camera guy uh, with their reactions, I was at peace with what I've seen. And they showed total respect for the bear. Juan was so emotional, uh, excited, and he was just overwhelmed. Dude, Matt, 11 days, 11 days, one of the, by far one of the most grueling, toughest hunts. I managed to get choked up a little. Dude, that was the most awesome thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Unreal. What a shot. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's everything I got to hold this guy's head up. That's literally insane. It's not about the kill anymore. It's about the journey and the struggle. Every man has a bear within himself. It's just a matter of time before they meet. Mm -hmm.